Greetings, 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 and welcome to another exciting episode of Great American Survival. Today, we're doing a very special knife review of Battle Horse Knives. We ran into Alicia over at Battle Horse Knives at NRA this year, and we picked up the Tree Frog. This is an exceptional knife. This is the best of both worlds. We're looking forward to showing it to you. Stick with us, guys. We'll tell you all about it. All right, guys. Well, tonight we're doing a very special review of Battle Horse Knives. This is the Tree Frog. This is a knife we picked up at uh, the NRA show here in Atlanta uh, back um, a couple months ago. And we have been impressed with this knife. Uh, we've done a lot of bushcrafting skills on a couple of projects with it and just put the knife through the paces. But yet, when it's all said and done, it cleans up, sharpens great, and um, it's just an impressive Beautiful, beautiful knife. As you see, it's been batoned, but yet when we hit it with some, hit it and clean it up, it cleans up beautifully. Um, I was very impressed with how well it cleaned up and it just held such a great uh, edge. The knife itself, let's go through the specifics. The knife itself is 8.375 in inches in length. Uh, the blade is three and a half inches in length, and the cutting edge is 3.25 inches in long length. Uh, it is 0.15 in width for the thickness of the blade, and the knife itself is 0.89 across the thickness of the handle, just under an inch, which is just impressive. Uh, at the handle itself is 4.875, so under five inches. So if you you if you live in the UK or in certain places where you can't carry fixed blade knives, this knife eliminates that problem. It makes it where you can carry a knife that is a locking fixed blade knife, but folds. That is incredible. Uh, this knife right here fits so many different purposes and so many different aspects and is just a very, very useful knife. Uh, we were been impressed when we first met Alicia at Battle Horse Knives at NRA show. And it, she taught us all about her their purpose of when they built the tree frog. The tree frog was built with scouts in mind and the safety factor. The being able to use a knife to do scout skills and sharpen, uh, you know, carve and whittle and, you know, fire making. All of those things all come into play, but making the knife where it was secure like our scouts are not allowed, our boy scouts are not allowed to carry a fixed blade knife. This knife right here does not fall into the category of a fixed blade knife. It's a folder. But with these exceptional little pins that go through the micarta handles and into the blade, it locks it in place. Most of the scout, most of the bushcraft projects we did, we only used one pin just to see how it did and make sure it was nice and safe. We never had any issues. We were really impressed with it, uh, with the bigger batoning skills and projects we would put both pins in. But a lot of the feather sticks and stuff like that, I did without having a pin in at all, just to see how it did, and it did so well. Uh, I was never really worried that it was gonna close on my finger because of the guard. The blade, blade length is not all the way up, so even if it folds over on you, you're not gonna take your finger off. It's very impressive, guys. The idea that they put they put so much detail into all the little aspects of this knife to make it just, it was great. Uh, the blade itself is an 01 blade steel. And the blade steel itself has an exceptional edge retention. This one right here, we have been very impressed with. Haven't had to sharpen it very often, just put a quick edge on it. Has a very high carbon content, but you do have to keep it clean. And you do have to maintain it properly. Oil it when it needs it, make sure everything's clean, get all the goop out of there so it doesn't rust. And I, was, I read somewhere when I was researching the blade steel that a well-treated 01 blade steel will cut a Damascus steel. That's impressive. This is an amazing blade with an amazing prop purpose in mind. 
Uh, the idea of the bushcraft projects with a folder worried me at first. Uh, because with scouts, we have to practice safety. But with just a single pin in place, the knife feels very secure. You put both in, and I never felt like it was going to collapse on my hand or I was going to risk losing a finger. I was never even worried. The knife really, really feels good in your hand. Only thing that, I, like I said, the only thing that bothered me that I would not feel comfortable with doing was chopping, but I felt comfortable batoning. And the blade shape just is awesome. The blade has a scanty grind and a drop point. Um, the material for the handle is a micarta handle. Uh, the lock is a manual lock with pins. And uh, the paracord to keep it around, just so you don't lose them. I was very impressed with this knife, and I look forward to years of use from this knife. This is now my son's knife. That was kind of the deal when I bought it, when we, when we got it for him uh, at, Bla at NRA, was that this would be his knife. Uh, we want to say thank you to Alicia and everybody over at Battle Horse Knives. We look forward to seeing you at Blade Show this year. And above all, keep it up, guys. You make some quality knives. I have an amazing neck knife I bought from them at uh, NRA, and I look forward to seeing what they have at Blade this year and picking something else up. Guys, this is a great knife. Go over. Their website will be down below. They're based out of, uh, I believe it's Cambridge, Ohio, and they have a lot of, a lot of different gear available on their website. They got some great shirts, hats, a lot of cool um, EDC gear, and it's just a great company, guys. I hope you guys will give them the chance. Go over, check them out. You won't regret it. Guys, with that, we'll sign off. We hope you guys have a great week, guys. Get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. Stay safe. God bless, guys. We will see you soon.